And we're back. Okay, we are starting with CPH Consulting LLC. Correct. Okay, so we'll do the same approach we were using at the second half of the morning. Um, hold on one second. And maybe get their notes up and be ready to start discussing first CPH, then do very ECI. Florida Technical Degrees and Nichols for our next five. So, Ryan, you want to start with your scores um, for CPH criteria one? Yep. So, criteria one, I gave it 22, 24, a seven, and an eight. Okay, John. All right, so category one at a twenty four, category two at a twenty four, category three at a seven, category four at a seven. London category one at a twenty, category two at a twenty, and six, category three, eight, category four at an eight. Okay, TJ. Uh, the category one at a twenty eight, category two at twenty seven. Category three and eight, category four and eight. Okay. Okay. Um, so I have category one, a 22, category two, a 16, category three, a seven, category four, a nine, Category five, a four. And let me go down here to my notes. I can tell you why it's a four. Um, so, I don't check this one. So two of uh, two of the um, subs on here for design and water quality type work are actually out of state. Uh, but let me just double check this. Is that category five you're talking about? So. Yeah, category five. So yeah, it's a four. Because in order for it to be a five, all of the project team is local. So this is, they have two that are not local that are actually not only not local, they're out of state. So that's why it's a four. Um, okay, so that being said, talking about our scoring, we'll start at criteria one. We're not too far off on that. We have... Our rankings here. We have a low of 20 and a high of 28. So 20 is the top of the adequate level, and 28 is not quite the top, but um, above average level. So close to the top. So we are, and then everybody else, uh, we have 24, 22, 22 are all in the above average level. So uh, London, you were the 20. Do you want to talk some about what you were seeing? What were your thoughts? Yeah, I'll start with the 20. 
I think I had then a 20 I saw where it was a lot of sub consultants more than <clears throat> and some of the others. They did have strong resume and several long term. Um, but again, a lot of the relevant skills were at the board of outsource, asset management, GIS support, water quality, SCADA controls. Um, and then also had that their graphic was difficult to interpret. Okay, and then TJ at the other end, you had the 28. What were you seeing clinking of 28? Um, some of the pipeline and pump station like expertise they had had noted, but also had noted where you, you mentioned local. So some of them out of state. See that in my notes now. Overall, I just felt that's where they felt for me. No other big major notes on that. Okay. So two of us had 22. Um, Brian and I both had 22. Brian and this one. Um notes i don't really have too many notes that are different than what we briefly discussed i would say that they they definitely had above average level experience to me compared to others but it was nothing that set them close to the let's get you to the exceptional range um definitely they had well round they were well rounded but um definitely could have saw quite a bit more to make me feel comfortable and confident that they do have that experience to tackle the things that we could be requesting from them. But uh, but yeah, it to me, um, I don't think it that they lacked much attempt, uh, experience. But um, yeah, I, I was kind of the same. I mean, there wasn't anything that really put them in the exceptional. However, they did have a good narrative on the firm's abilities. Um, and I also like their discussion on project approaches that they had in that section. Uh, they really didn't indicate uh, any of these types of continuing services contracts in Florida in that narrative where they're talking about the firm. Um, there is no backup PM, so that kind of gained it a little bit for me. And uh, there's all, also, for some of the disciplines, there's only one person. There's not a lot of depth. But they do a good job of incorporating the subs into the team. Um, there was one item that on uh, one of the resumes. I, 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 I do intend to review Leonis to step by, okay. so that's part of my afternoon. Um, excuse today. me, can you get the call, please? Beltran? Thank you. Uh, where was I? <laughs> what happened? Okay. Um, there was one of the resumes where they were talking about uh, this one. It was on PDF page 46, they, the resume for Kayla. It, they're talking about permit management services and the, they are reviewing developer permits that have been submitted to OUC to make sure they're complying with county and, and standards. Um, with the amount of development we have going on, I was like, that is a service we could use. Um, definitely something, but, uh, you know, I, so that kind of, that jumped out at me as, as a positive, but I, yeah, I, that was one of the things that put them in the above average for, for me. So that's just a 22 is what I gave them. John, you had a 24? I had a 24. Um, you know, I 
put them in the above average category because of the resumes and the job association and projects tied with it. Um, a couple of them on their resumes were repetitive um, in projects, but that happens with some firms, uh, multiple people assigned. Um, I did not have to uh, score them adequately for what they are. The org chart was present. Um, on a, and a lot of the other comments you guys already covered. So I I actually, since I've gone up on other ones, I would want to go up on this personally because, because I do feel like some of their services were exceptional. Um, yeah, I'm not really far off well from most of yours too. I'm no, not you're at 24. I'm thinking 24. Go ahead. I can agree with that because yeah, the permitting services is a big thing that I'm involved with and definitely with working with people that can take that on. Um, I'm good with an eight to four of them. I think I'm up to a 24. Okay, so 24 is our consensus. Okay, so 24 for number one on CPH consulting? Yes. Okay. Okay, the next one, all of you are very close, and then there's me, the outlier. <laughs> um, so we have PJ 27, London 26, and then John and Ryan are 24. So all of you are, uh, well, Let's see, TJ, you have them in the superior, but everybody else has them in more than adequate. I have them at 16. So the reason I had them at 16 is um, uh, But we had more to do with when the projects were completed. Some of the some are ongoing, but one was completed in 2015 and another 2018. Let me just double check to make sure that's actually completed because back to our discussion from earlier about completed versus started. And so let me just double check that. However, it is kind of cool that they've been working with Sanford, Florida since 1960. I know. I wasn't even born. Was there. None of us were. <laughs> I wasn't even born. <laughs> yeah, it was 2015 and yeah. 2018. Okay, so so that was a big impact on that was what drove my score being where it was. But I, as you can tell, I'm at the very, very top of that category. So I don't have a problem moving up into the next step up. That was, but that is, that was the thing that. There are several data projects. That's what I have. Yeah, and and their table though shows great cross collaboration. collaboration yeah, cross project collaboration. I mean, they really. Great with anybody. Had a really good collaboration there, so I am I am open to moving up. I was the outlier in all of this. Um, we've got two twenty fours, a twenty six, and a twenty seven. Twenty five. I'm good with that. I agree. I'm good. Twenty five for number two. Twenty five for number two. Okay. Okay. Uh, next one should be pretty easy. We got two eights and three sevens. Seven. 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 Uh, next one is also pretty easy. We've got three eights and nine and seven. Eight. eight. Okay. Seven for number three and eight for number four. That is correct. Got it. Okay. So next is Dewberry. proposal on the screen. Uh, 
Okay. Ryan? I gave 30. 28. A 9. And a 9. John? So, uh, criteria one, I have a 28, two, firms experience 27, category three, which is the willingness to meet schedule is an eight, and then category four is an eight. You said three was an eight, Joe? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Rhonda? For category one, at a 35. For category two, I have a 31. For category three, I have an eight. And for category four, I have a Thank you, TJ. Category one, I had a 30. Category two, I also had a 30. Category three, I had an eight. Category four, I had an eight. Okay. And I have a. Category one, I have a 25. Category two, I have a 30. Category three, I have a five. Category four, I have a seven. Location, category five, I have a three. And that is due to, if you look at what they submitted under criteria five, we have one, two, three, four, five. People who are, one is in Panama City, three are in Orlando, and one is actually out of state in Georgia. So that was my, that one. So now, discussion. Um, criteria one, I, I mean, we range from a 25 to a 35. And we have two 30s and a 28 in there. Um, let me look at my notes on this. I'm the lowest. Uh, so uh, no deputy or, or backup project manager. Um, but there is good depth through the various skills. Uh, and then they, in their general discussion, they do have a map that so, shows their continuing services type contracts and presents um, skills in a table. But they also talk about projects and they show some projects, but they aren't water wastewater projects. So that was confusing to me. Um, the resumes, however, are, are representative of the type of skills that we would use. And they did provide licenses and such. So, I mean, I like I've said before, I know I score low on these things. So I'm I'm in the middle of the above average category. Uh, the three of you, uh, John, TJ, and Ryan, are also in the above average category. And then London, you're in the exceptional. So you want to talk about that? Sure. Actually, I'm looking at my notes, and I've got um, strong resumes, and then I've got a note in here: some long-term employees. So I must have noted that there's a lot of newer people there, where maybe they haven't had that collaboration. But I didn't didn't change my score on that. But I did note that. You know, they appear to have a lot of skills in house. I only have them going out for survey. So they, if you look on criteria five, which you guys have to rank, yeah. there, there are key. They they listed the offices of the key staff, and that's where three of them were in Orlando. No, 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 no. Yeah, but they got dinged for that in category five. That's I where. Heard. Yeah, so that doesn't need to. Unless, yeah. So 
I mean, I'm thinking 30. Yeah, I think I'm doing. And 30 is already what TJ and Ryan have. And John, that's you and It's in the same category. Yep. Okay, so 30. So 30 for Dewberry category one. Correct. Yeah. Next category two, we are all much closer. We have a 31 as a high and a 27 as a low. Uh, they're all in the superior category. So we are all in agreement on the category there. There's no discussion of category. Um, we have two 30s, a 28, a 27, and a 31. Most projects acted as a prime. One project was listed as a sub subcontractor, mm -hmm. and um, project costs were provided. So I think I'm the high, so I can. I yeah, can but we're all super super close. You're a 31. Then there's two 30s. Then there's a 28 and a 27. So we're all like really tight, and we all have them in the superior category. So I, I think we just need to agree on a number here, and I'm picking 30. It was 30. Okay. I'm good with that. I'm reviewing it again, too. Yeah. yeah. 30 for number two? Yeah, that's mine. So then we have uh, criteria three, three eighths, a nine, and a five. I'm, why did I put five? I have a note that says not sure relevance, but I don't know what I was saying. Sounds like they had said they were honest about their abilities. Um, maybe a skill set's not available. Maybe it was some of that where I felt yeah. like I was saying that's not really relevant. But um, talked about their dashboards. Yes, I, yeah. Dashboards and. Yeah, they talk about communications I have as far as between uh, teams and dashboards. And... Yeah. Well, we have three eights, a nine, and a five. What do you think, eight? Perfect. Eight. So eight for number three. Yep. Yeah. Dewberry. And then the next one, we've got two nines, two eights, and a seven. Eight. Eight. Good with that. Hey. Okay. Okay. So that's Dewberry. So D C I. Um so well let's give course PSAC a second to catch up here. Okay. No problem. Okay, ECI. So, I gave a 10, a 9, 5, and a 5. I'm sorry. 10, a 9, a five, and a 5. All right, so ECI uh, category one, 12, category two, 11. Oh, sorry. Lower. 12, 11. And then category three is six, and category four, four. Category four is a four? Yes, ma'am. Got it. Category one, at a zero. Category two, I have a two. Category three, I have a one. Category four, I have a zero. Okay, hey, Jay. Category one, I had a zero. Category two, I had a three. Category four, four. Category five, 
sorry, category. What is it? Four. <laughs> Three. Okay. Okay, so I looked, I must have looked at, I, I know I looked at this completely differently from all of you. So I have a 30, a 30, a nine, an eight, and then the location of four. And I will explain this. Um, let me get my location for you. Uh, some people that weren't in the area, I don't remember. It didn't work exactly. But. So, one of the things that I did when I went through the proposals is I made a table that had the prime and all of their subs. ECI and Lane are both two very small firms that team together on this. And between the two of them, they show up on 13 proposals and subs. Consistently. Why can't I hire them directly? They're doing exactly what we need. We're in the process right now of building an inspection team. We're trying, we know we're not going to be able to hire them because we're there are not a lot of inspectors out there. That's what they do. It's a huge need. We have Chris is working hand in hand right now with with um Tom at Tom Services. Yeah. And it really helps Catherine's group. And it's like, we already have these people as subs to other, on other contracts where we are intentionally going through the other contract just to get them. So you're right, we did look at it completely different. And so I, I was looking set. at this as, what, as part of what we need in our wheelhouse. We need this service. And So that was, when I looked at this, I, I would rather contract directly with the small team, small firm that provides this niche specialty. That's how I looked at it. Um, it is one of the things that we listed. They marked several categories on their, on their thing. Again, let me pull that up real quick. Um, where I was looking at this going, okay. They were looking at the whole thing from the construction aspect when they were checking the skills they could provide. Planning or design that they did not check. That, that, that's what I was and so they were looking at the whole thing from this construction mm -hmm. mindset. You know, and inspection roles and general services is you know and that was in my head as I was looking at it. This is like they're on almost every team. They are exactly See, I, I guess I was coming at it not from, again, their skill set, but looking at, you know, doing the actual design and doing the actual um, hydraulics, you know, and that's not, and that's to not what they said was in their wheelhouse. Correct. So that's what I mean. That's how I was looking. Not obviously they're talented at what they do. Otherwise, other people wouldn't be having them as their subs. And we've used them on several projects, so it's not their skill set. I was just more about did they fit in this particular category? But so I interpreted that. Well, I I don't know. That's why we're discussing because the the things that they checked are project coordination which is a definite aspect of construction, right? Um, 
working with other utility owners and re resolving utility conflicts, working with agencies requiring permits for a project, working with other county departments as required. Uh, yeah, no, they, and so then you've got capital projects. Public outreach, they've been doing that on some of these inspections that they have. And, and anyway, so I was, we looked at this very differently in terms of this. I looked at it from the construction side of what the, and not the design side. They are definitely, and they clearly say it, construction engineers. They are not design engineers. So I, I guess that's kind of where we looked at this very differently yeah. on this one. And and I also, obviously, part of this is filling needs we have. It, it is. So it is a totally different type of firm from most of the ones we've been reviewing. Yeah, that's been a while. Is that what have been there? And it is. So, you know, I mean, it's eye opening your concept and what you're saying to me. So. I mean, I got a different outlook on it myself, especially like you said, this is a strong point of what we've been looking for. And they already do a lot of work and they're directly related because they're buried in almost half of these proposals directly. Right. So the, the only difference is, you know, they'd be going direct to them, which would be a good asset to have in our uh, line. That that was how I looked at it. I don't. I mean, the nice thing is they're on a lot of other teams, but in order to get them, we have to go through another person, and it adds management costs and adds time and effort and yeah so I and I don't know if they're actually are they registered as MBESB I think Lane is yeah mm -hmm. no, Lane. yeah and so you've got these two small firms that Lane is it you say engineer concept Says state of Florida. Oh, yeah. Physical status. Okay. I was wrong about that. Okay. No, it says Lane is uh, DWBE, DMDWBE. So, I'm definitely open for discussion on you know, considering construction engineering, but then being a CEI firm, um, because yeah, I kind of looked at it as where's where's the narrative about how much design they've done on these projects? Where's any other stuff that we needed? Um, considering the need for CEI, especially some of the groups I've worked with, how much CEI we need. Uh, I'm willing to, to discuss what we could come to an agreement on that's a little bit higher than I think what we all first gave. If we need to fill a niche, if that's what we're looking at doing. If it, it is, and that's why I'm reviewing everything again, yeah, too, because I know I'm definitely adding that my score. Yeah, I don't I think about that and CEI terms, I would definitely put them in that 21 to 30 category because they have above level of ex above average level of ex experience with construction engineering. They, oh, so they showed that I mean, every single one they've done. They're all of our targets. And, and truly, for each of these firms, you are, they're not necessarily, yes, they don't have to come in and cover every category we're looking for, or, you know, so they could have specific roles, which that is uh, definitely. Right. It's going to be part of our job is when we're signing contracts, we have to make sure that we're not 
And I think that's where plus, I was skewed. Plus, I can tell you, this team, they would turn down the design project. <laughs> and I guess that's where I was. Yeah. It wasn't looking at like their specific skill set. It was looking at. We have problems. to get all this done. We they have don't have to get all the this done. Right. And that's part of why we're deepening our bench. That's why we're looking to go with a, a larger number. I mean, our prior contract had four. <laughs> well, little tiny Oldsmar has nine. Plant City has like 14. St. Pete has 12 and Pinellas has 16. And here we are, as big as we are, we had four. Uh, and with as busy as everybody is out there, that's, we need to deepen our bench. So, I mean, what I will, you know, I just wanted to explain my view of this one. Obviously, it impacts all the scores across the board. Looking at it from that mindset, um, I don't know how you guys want to approach this. Um, I think we're looking at it as a team of what we need to approach it that way. And it's a department. And based on if we're going to rate them for their specific wheelhouse, I, you know what I mean? I, my store is going to drastically change how much I purchase stated because it is in the concept they're not going to bid on it, you know, or ask to do the type of work on half the stuff we're going to put out. I mean, they know their wheelhouse and their strength. Not, and obviously, a lot of the other the companies do too, as they yeah, follow yeah. their proposals. So, if there were only choosing four, then be a little less confident. Yeah, exactly. If we were, yes. Yes. But yes, that's what popped everybody is the CEI, you know, going repetitively throughout the proposal. So, you know what I mean? And that's where, oh, that's, that's where probably we failed, you know, because at least I failed. I, well, I, that's the way I interpret it. Yeah, I, did, I was taking them broader, but really the design scope of what they do is what they're specifically. They're, filling, they're trying to fill that void that we need to look at it from that point of view. Can we, JC, can we maybe Skip this, let them re look at their scores and then come back to this after the break, like at, during the break. If they we're not at break yet, but when we get to break, if maybe they could take a few minutes to re look at ECI and then we revisit ECI. Okay. Do or do we want to just take, yeah, I'll just talk through it right now. I'm fine, I'm fine with that. I want to give you guys the genius to. So, so I definitely agree that considering all that's been said, that they definitely are a project, they have project team personnel that have above average level experience, and the project manager is uniquely qualified. Um, I can't. I still have a hard time saying that they're at an exceptional level I don't think of I expertise. Could. I don't think I put them at exceptional. I think I put them at 30. Yeah, I had them above average. Um, project team contains all necessary disciplines. Organization of project team is adequate to the project. Prime firm has superior professional resources to provide to properly provide services. And just note, looking at their org chart, how much they would have on staff to provide services, I could definitely lead towards anywhere between 25 to 30 with this one. I would agree with that, especially like I said, we're trying to feel that niche of where we're liking right now. Yeah, I mean, we're in the process of developing a whole new inspection team and it has like 10 vacant positions in it and we're together we're not yeah, we're, it's going to take us quite a while to get all and we yeah. have development going nuts out there and we we need an inspection yeah it's a strong pursuit for what we definitely need especially from my end that's mostly fine too 
Yeah. So on the higher end of. So I'm, I'm good with what you were saying with him, but I'm going to stop talking and let you guys figure out what you think. I say 30. Is that where you were? 30. No, that's where I am now. I can agree with it. I through this discussion, I feel confident with being able to back up that score, considering that because yeah, before it was they won't be able to do all this, but we you know what they are focusing on and they could focus on that and they definitely are above average with what they're they're buying for. And they have the resources for like you said to their own chart. To fill yeah, that inspectors. I'm good with that. You just went third as well. Yes, I already said the third. Okay, so uh, you're saying 30? Mm -hmm. Okay. For engineer concepts, this number one, correct. Correct. Number two. So I'll be quiet if you guys discuss that one amongst yourselves. Add another two. Considering <laughs> that. I got, you know, the topics. How do we get that strong experience in confirming the work was performed properly? That's what they did in the inspections. They've listed out. Treatment facility projects. If this is about gravity, restoration, pump station, water tank, water pollution, control facility. Um, it's definitely a range of, of projects. Versified. One of the things I saw that was checked off going back through it was GATA and um, instrumentation control and asset management services. Did you all see that? Yeah, it's under their abilities also. Is it under their abilities? Treatment plant services. Also pump station services. Checked off of on the abilities portion of every scope of work, it looks like we have in here. I'm firm that's more than adequate, successful, recent experience with projects of similar size. Yes, I guess. most of the scope and services provided. Representing projects or similar to the RTS. Superior recent experience. Again, it's, it's still hard for me to see them in the superior category. I could lean more towards the higher end of the 17 to 26 prime. They have more than adequate experience with their recent projects that they listed. That's the inspectors. But all right, so let's go back and talk about what size municipalities. This is basically saying we have projects of similar size. So we can confirm in their sizing. 
uh, the municipalities, I think we can move straight ahead. Let's get the um, I guess this same jobs. Of course, they've got several projects with those broken and not ready. Um, yeah, that was so a, yeah. They've got several projects with us already. So if they had kind of getting straight. Yeah, that was the there improvement reds in May. Yeah. So yeah. Um, to express your people were laying them. So yeah. through that, probably through a lot of uh, replacements and stuff. That's Definitely, they can. They met that criteria. So if we're staying with the basic, basically staying in the adequate successful range. Um, you know, it seems like they would be at I think, 26. So they are already doing work for Hills Belgium. I can agree with that. I'll go to 26 too. I'm not sure where you are. I'm going to put 26. So 26 and 2? Yes, correct. Okay, 26 for Ontario 2 on the Jimmy Concerts. And number three. Which criteria three is? Schedule and budget. Schedule and budget requirements. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't think they understood what we were asking for here. Um, unit cost controls. Boots on the ground. Listed boots on the ground. Yeah, they. I mean, they talked about. I mean, they do have one good sentence. Our chief inspector maintains daily communication with field inspectors to provide technical advice, confirm schedules, as built information, tie cards, and are being captured in the material. So they they have that we talk about that communication, but I don't think this uh, so that's a way to control schedule and budget, double check it. Um, budget side of it was just monitoring their hours. Yeah, and not monitoring and test order budget and stuff to watch the dead quantities. Well when you consider it would be for CEI services. They're not necessarily the ones that handle the schedule. I mean, they're they're there. They have to be there when the contractor says, "I'm doing this or I'm doing." And that. what they list, they list out plenty of ways that they would help to facilitate moving things along while staying in their position of the CEI. Um, constant communication between the county engineering staff. And field staff. Uh, I, see, I, I guess I'm seeing it now from that side, and it's like they can only say so much of what they can bring to the table from their position. So, there, to me, I I think they do list out some some good stuff within that second paragraph of ways they would tackle. Handling issues that do that are created out the field. I do say ECI can provide a recommendation to the GC to accelerate on this land for advice the county will plan to recover as needed. Scheduling. Yeah, for scheduling. Okay, where are we at with our scores on that? We're we're trying to four of us. Think we're number three. Four, six, one, five, and nine. I'd be good with the seven or an eight. I'm good with the seven. Well, I'm fine. I tried where I was at. I'm good with seven. And then the last one is criteria four, which oh, you said seven. 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 Yeah, yeah. Um, current and projected workload, we have zero, four, three, five, eight. 
well, the inspector site went off. All the projects. Writing six to eight each season. And they showed us like who's who when they have every single one of their inspectors list, listed on the left. Yeah, yeah, they get every tried. single yeah. inspector listed. And then it shows where they're going to have availability when projects are ending. I mean, this was pretty. Yeah, they have construction projects coming to them. Okay. I go with me. I agree with, with an eight. It's, yeah, look at that chart. I that. Okay. So what, eight for number four? Yes. Okay. Give me one second. Let me go. Um, yes. I don't know how long you will close this one. Let me get the next one up. Yes. Okay. Okay. Ready for Florida Technical. Um, Ryan. So this one I kind of rated similar to the other. Um, then it seemed too applicable to what we were looking for. So we may discuss this one a little bit more. Yeah, but this was GIS services again yeah. too. So again, I looked at it in a different viewpoint. But we so. can go ahead. Yeah, let's get let's get our scores and yeah. talk this through. So I gave them an eight, a five, an eight, and an eight, just because it right. eight eights. But John. All right, so. Uh, for tech, WC, so category one for 12, category two, 11, category three would be an eight, category four would be a nine. And London. Okay. Category one, category two, a two. Category three, one. Category four and zero. And TJ? And category one, eight. Category two is seven. Category three is seven. Category four is six. Okay. So actually, we are all kind of close. I have a category one of five, category two of five, category three, a three, category four, a five, and I have a zero for category five. Um, this is a specialty. Let me find my reason for that. I don't think they're here at all. I, yeah, they're 100% employed in each completely out of the area. So thank you for that. This one, it is a niche firm but it's not a niche we need, okay. at least from my knowledge. Like, unless you guys can think of a reason why we would need this niche. We have a whole GIS department. We have a whole asset management department headed by David Riggins, who's doing all of that. We're bringing in a whole new software. We have a whole team working on that. So I did not, for asset management. Yeah, no. I did not see that the niche that this built for us. Our GS team has been successful for years. The asset management team has been getting better and better, I think, over the past several years. So I would have to agree with those. Okay. Okay. So that being said, uh, consensus criteria one, we have zero through 12. 
as the numbers that people provided. Two eights, a five, a twelve, and a zero. Eight. 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 Yeah. Five and okay. Eight for criteria one. Criteria two. We have eleven through two. Two fives and a seven. Seven. I'm in agreement. Great. A seven is our criteria two. Yep. Criteria three, we have a one, two eights, a seven, and a three. Seven. seven. And criteria four, we have a zero, a nine, a six, an eight, and a five. Six. Six. Okay. So that was FTC. Now we've got threes and nickels. Let me just switch proposals. Uh, switch all proposals. Okay. Okay. Freeze and nickels. Let's go, Ryan. Yeah, they made twenty eight, twenty seven, and eight. And then eight. Hey, John. Jason Nichols, I have a 30 in category one, a 26 in category two, a nine in category three, and an eight in category four. Hey, what then? Category one, I had a 29 category. Two, category three, category three, seven, category four, seven. Okay. Category one at a 30, category two, a 26, category three, a seven, category four, a seven. And I have a category one, 25, category two, 20, category three, a seven, category four, a seven, and category five, a three. I go to notes on the category location one. So in their discussion, they uh, in back under tab F, they did not talk about uh, some of the outside of the local areas. But when you look at the actual team assembly of on the SF 330A through C, you do see that we have team members that are outside of the area, including Jacksonville, Dallas. San Antonio, which isn't surprising because Friesen Nichols is originally a Texas firm. Okay. So you, you're going to have some of those from outside of the area. But uh, that was the end of that. Okay. So if we look at this scoring, 
We were all relatively close. The first category, criteria one, we are um, uh, 30 is a high and 25 is a low. So we're in within five points. We're all in the above average category. So we're all in the same category. We have two 30s, a 29, a 28, and a 25. Let's say a 29 be that two two thirties, a 28, a 25, and a 28. So I think the 29 is that's good. In agreement. Okay, 29 is our consensus for criteria one for Freeze and Nichols. Criteria two. We are ranging from a 20 to a 31. So we are overlapping between more than adequate and superior those two categories um so we have three of us that are in the more than adequate so a 20 and two 26s and two ryan and london are above with a 27 and a 31. so since we're not in the same grouping let's talk a little bit why are they superior I have them in the lower end of the superior. Um, noted that you know, they have good projects with similar size. They have been declined in all their projects. The cost, I do have noted here that costs were provided for some of the projects, not all of them. But there must have been, you know, that was some people say berries. Then after that, I could take a look. I noted that. For me, the on call services for both neighboring county and the neighboring city stuck out to me. Um, some experience with the South County transmission main project. Factored into me thinking they are definitely um, experienced with our system, how we do things, and definitely with the surrounding area, Tampa Bay projects that they're doing that they these Pasco County, I believe. Um, I saw facility projects to uh, fuel projects, so inside the fence and outside the fence. Um, they just seem well rounded. I could understand how they may not necessarily be in the superior level of uh, project or of, of the teams. Um, I mean, I'm reviewing the stuff too, as you say, and then first, what I have with you guys to speak into. So I'm in the second uh, high category too, but I don't mind moving up to the high end of that at the 30. Um, based on what we've discussed already and in reviewing. So the range is the highest range is 27 to 35 for criteria two. I would be. An agreement on lower end of superior or higher end of adequate. So either 26 to 28 is kind of thread. Right. So you already have them at 27. John and TJ have them at 26. And I'm at 20 and London is at 31. So we are the okay, you're... opposite ends. Is there a reason why you want us to consider? No, I I just um okay again, just like I said, my my highest score anybody got was a 30. So I already am rating lower. I am consistently rating lower than you across the board on most of these. So there's no nothing yeah, I'm consistently higher. Um, something I'm going back and looking at. I remember you know, it's like, hey, we've got some people who've been on both sides of the fence. Yes. So, you know, there was some. I know, I noted that. The like, sensitivity to 
some of the challenges we have on this side. And there was one of their team members, Janelle, who um, in her resume, she talks about CIP organizing and developing and stuff. And when she was with Pinellas County, she was over their whole engineering and CIP group. So, you know, and I'm thinking about what we're going through right now, though you're not, none of you are actively involved in it, but we're doing a major deep dive into where we're at with projects, who's managing them, how are they organized, how are they grouped. You're involved in some of the meetings, actually, and you have been in some of our discussions about this. Um, and, you know, I... I gave them the lowest score, obviously, of the five of us, but that's just me. I've been consistently, for the most part, lower. So um, I don't, I, I would be fine with going up to a 26 on this. I, and I'm in agreement. I think after as many as we've been through and being able to hear from others on you know, what else I need to consider and how many of these I've left out of the superior, I, I feel like they're more in line with with the higher the higher rankings that I've given and um, but to be consistent, but you know that superior is at next level up. And though they have some stuff that sticks out to me, like mainly the on ongoing service contracts with them with municipalities near us is kind of the main thing. That factor again to me, put them in that uh, that upper extra long. I can't say, but um, I would be good with the twenty six. Well, twenty six was already John and TJ's, so as long as yeah, yeah. okay, so twenty six it is. Twenty six for number two. Yes, for free and nickel. Now we are into criteria three. Here again, we're pretty close. We have three sevens, one eight, and one nine. Seven. Uh, next one, again, three sevens and two eights. Seven. That is seven. seven. Okay. So that is threes and nickels. Um, the next one of these next is Brad. Can you see a second? Okay, Brad. Brian. I did a ten, five, seven, a seven. Hey, John. Category one is a twelve. Category two, ten. Category three is a seven. Category four is a seven. London. Category one is a five. Category two is a two. Category three is a one. Category four is a zero. A hey, TJ. Category one, I had a nine. Category two had an 11. Category three, a five. Category four, a six. Okay. And I have for category one, a 10. Category two, a five. Category three, a five. Category four, a seven. And category five is a two. Go 
So when you look at the resumes of the 10 resumes they provided, seven of them are outside of the local area. So, okay. Scoring, consensus. Category one, we have a 12, two tens, a nine, and a five. They, they really did not provide or indicate that they provide the services that we need. And I think what I saw looking at it was stormwater Storm and transportation and beach. This is not, not water, wastewater services. Um, there was a little bit, but not... Yeah, it, it really isn't their strength. Or at least if it is, it's not what they provided information. So, I mean, given where the numbers are, 10. So 10 for criteria one. Criteria two really goes right into like criteria one is about the firm and the staff criteria two are the example projects saying comments there about the type of projects they provided were not relevant to our work so we've got a two a ten eleven a five and a five what do you guys five five okay five for number two five for number how do you say that great I, I was calling it graph. Graph. Okay. Right. You might be right because it is an A with an E. And the first, you know, when two vowels go walking, the person who does the. <laughs> 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 so, exactly. Uh, okay. So criteria three, we've got two sevens, two fives, and a one. Five or six? Five or six? Five. Five. That's good. Five. Five. Five for number three? Yep. And then um, we got a zero, a seven, a six, a seven, and a seven. A seven? Okay. So seven? Yep. Right. Okay, so path engineering. Ryan, start. Yes, I gave a 25, a 22, an 8, and a 7. Okay, John. Path Associates. Category one, which is ability to firm uh, we have 24. Category two, a 24. Category three, an eight. And category four, a seven. One bit. Category one, a 20. Category two, 26. Category three, three. Category four, and it's a one. TJ. Category one, 27. Category two, a 26. Category three, eight. Category four, a six. Okay. So, um, category one, I have a 10. Category two, a 15. Category three, a seven. Category four of five, 
And for location, category five, I have a four. And on half, my notes say, um, go to here, write it down. Um, they have, they're, they are using supporting offices in Orlando and Tavares. So those are outside of the area. And so in order to get a five, you have to be all local. If they were not. So if, even though they're not major services, they are principal. Um, okay, so I'm an outlier. Let me look at my notes on why I was saying this. Which category? One and two, one and two. So, unless I did not find it, they did not provide a narrative. I've got that missing. It is completely missing. There yes. is no narrative about the firm's abilities. They provided resumes and they provided the Speaking not on mute. Um, they they went straight into you know they they did the org chart, which I do say I like the way they did their org chart with the um, table to the right on the org chart that had the check boxes that shows who among them and their subs will do the different types of things against our scope. I didn't really like that, but there was absolutely no narrative, which was five pages of that section of, of this. How I, I felt like it was super incomplete. Um, I did go through the resumes and the resumes are, um, you know, and the org chart has the PM with the deputy PM. Uh, some of the positions are only one person, but it didn't look like it was Please bad. Um, there is a section H that has additional information narrative of the probabilities. But it wasn't. Like, so they, they did include it, but it's not in the section. Yeah, it's okay. media 36. Yeah, I did not. It's like at the end of everything. If that's what I'm looking at. It is. OK, well, it wasn't where I was looking for. It wasn't where they were told to put anything. So I did not read this. I put down that they had strong resumes. Um, at a, Good diversification when it came to the projects. There was, I believe, a one treatment facility project, but Salt Lake Station and uh, a whole mobile home park infrastructure. So basically, just all piping. But uh, seemed like it. They covered most of the topics that we need, but nothing really stood out. Nothing seemed like it was. Again, the bubble home park's not at a scale that we do things, but um, me, I felt like they were slightly above average, but I think. Yeah, we're talking about number one. I do want to point out that they have applied sciences on the team. That was another yeah. one that showed up as a couple where they're showing up as a sub on several of them, but would. Well, I've got one of the okay. eight projects that was represented as applied science. Actually, one of the projects was applied it science, was, and that was so actually why, part of why on the criteria two, right. I, I also had them um, a little lower. So anyway, we're on criteria one. Okay, so I do see that section now. It's not where I was expecting it to be. It's not where the table told them to put it in tab A. Um, so.
And then as far as licensing and certificates, they only provided for the firms, but not for staff or subs. But we did not specify whether it was just firms or firms and staff or what. So they did provide. Um, I mean, that's why I gave them the 10 really, in all honesty, was they, I did not see that whole section. It was like they completely left out five pages of, of information I was looking for. So that, so for the rest of the scores around. So yeah, you know, let me you know, let me look at where the rest of the scores were at. Give twenty-five, but yeah, we got a, a twenty through a twenty-seven. If you throw out what I had put in there as a ten, based on that, and I'll be honest, I obviously haven't had time to read everything, so I, you know, um, this is launch. Sorry, I was on the wrong page. Tell me. Uh, okay. So tw 20 would be in the adequate level of experience. Um, anything above 21 is in the above average level. I felt like they were slightly above average just from the well-roundedness of what I saw from within the, uh, the resumes the different stuff that they each individually worked on. Seems like they've touched a little bit of everything that we'd be expecting of them. Um, but. I, I'm more inclined. I mean, uh, I'm more inclined for 20. And so after what I was listening to, I, I feel like I, I would be Closer to a 20, um, maybe not above average, just right there, adequate. They can handle what we'll throw at them. I can make three on a 20. I'm fine with that. Good, that's right. Okay, so 20. Um, next group is the criteria. Uh, I'm a 15. Uh, you guys, we have two 26s, a 24 and a 22. My score was definitely influenced by the fact that one of the projects was coming from applied and not from them. Um, and the other thing was, I thought no cost figures were provided. Yeah. And it's funny because the table shows good crossover within half, but it doesn't cross over with the subs. So though they use the subs project in their projects, it's not like it was a project they had already worked on together, which would have worked great because then it would have shown that not just within the prime firm, but with the sub, there is that crossover. It doesn't show it, 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 that so that's why I was leaning to the lower end of this. Um, you know, I had them on adequate successful, uh, which is the nine to 16. The rest of you had them one step up in, in more than adequate. I would be fine with moving up to more than adequate. But I don't, I would not be comfortable with moving to the top of that category. That's not an academic come down. down. That switch from these lower than my normal. I mean, sir, it's a 22. I would be fine with a 22. And 22 is where Ryan had to start with all this. I was. I'm good with that. That's yeah, only yeah. I was ready to take the code. You're going to pick up those points. Yeah. You want to talk about it? I'd be good with the score I was with before. Yeah. Okay. And then our next group, um, we got what was the what was the final one? Twenty two. For number two. For number two. Say so number three now on half. We've got three eights, a seven, and a three. 
I'm the lower one. Yes, you are. I, why, why are you lower? So I guess it was just several mentioned in stormwater several times and hands on, feet on the ground, understand the economy, technology, leverage future technology. Um, you know, I thought it was a lot of words. Without saying a lot? Yes. Yeah. I mean, they really don't talk about. Yeah, I mean, I see what you're saying. It, it's like. Yeah. Perhaps that was just my interpretation. So John, Ryan, PJ, why, why we ate? What, what put you at the higher end of this day? For me, um, a lot of the criteria threats that I saw seem to kind of do the same thing where it's a lot of generic language. language. Um, I think it was more about how it was laid out, the They, you know, they they don't necessarily have steps that they list, but you know, they they kind of have these ideas of, you know, we we're gonna use the technologies. Um, <laughs> I just plug my computer back in. Sorry. Sure. <laughs> um, for me, it was a lot of what they mentioned is just their ability to work with us or the county um, to resolve any issues that may have pop may pop up. Um, their personnel allocation, how they're willing to divide staff. But again, I think most of my criteria threes were around seven and eights, and I just sort of because they need to say a lot of the same stuff. When the yes, was like, okay, fair yeah, enough. It's if, if this bluff gets an eight, that right. bluff gets an eight too. Yeah, yeah. Makes okay. that makes sense. That makes sense. No, I get it. And I get when it. When there was standouts, that's when it would get the. That's when it would give it a nine or something. Right. Um, mine was for their unique abilities and innovative approaches. I haven't really seen a lot of that from anybody else. That's true. So that's true. And schedule and the schedule and controls and stuff that they touch based on. I mean, I, I would be fine. I mean, I gave them a seven. Um, okay. So. I'm good with that. Yeah, seven. Okay. So a seven for criteria three and then criteria four. We have a zero, a seven, a six, a seven, and a five. London gave them a zero. <laughs> hey, I, I yeah, we've all there's always a reason. Um it just wasn't a lot of information there. Um it talks about the I'm mean, going back and looking at it, it talks about the percentage of a project being complete, right. but it didn't really talk about percentage of their staff. Well, no, you're what, completely right. Well, what I saw from that was that half 63% of half will be available for needs. So is that how you're reading it? Yeah, because they were talking about five of their projects that are actually you could be complete. Yeah, so yeah. We then those people and the availability is at 63% on that. Okay. They didn't read it. They just wrote it. Yeah, yeah. Different. They wrote it different. They definitely did write, write it different. Okay. So thank you for clarifying that. That's the page there. That's that five. So uh, TJ, John, and Ryan, you guys read it that way. Uh, seven, six, and seven are your numbers. Where do you, what do you guys think? Sticking to seven. Sticking to seven. Okay, so seven, right seven is fine. Yeah, census on that is a seven. Um, they see, I think, break time. What do you think? Yeah, we can take a break. It's, you said one way to work. If you guys should start now. Uh, 
break. Let's do a break. Let's do a break. We'll come back and we pick up with Hazel. Eight. Okay. 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 Okay.
Okay, we are back. So, uh, JC just posted a notice on bonfire. The committee has decided to keep working until five o'clock. Uh, there are a lot to get through, and we want we are going to have. Additional tasks tomorrow besides reviewing these, so we thought we'd add an extra hour to today. So you should see the notice on bonfire, but just letting you know for those of you who are online. Uh, that being said, next um, up is Hazen. So let's go ahead and Ryan. I gave them a 36, a 32. And eight and then seven. And I have 30. Oh, hold on, hold on. No, wait, wait. Do we go with? Oh, sorry. Let me see catch up. I can repeat. Yes, please. Okay. Whenever you're ready. You said 36. Yep. 36, a 32, an eight, and a seven. Okay. All right, John, ready? I have a 35. I have a 32. I have a nine and I have a nine. Hey, London. Criteria one, I have a 35. For number two, I have a 33. For number three, I have a 10. For number four, I have a nine. Hey, TJ. Uh, number one, I have a 34. Number two, I have a 32. Number three, an eight. Number four, an eight. Okay. And I have a 30, a 30, an eight, and a seven. So, Um, criteria one, we have from 30 through 36, there are two 35s and one 34. Um, I mean, they were, they're good. Yeah. I really don't have a whole lot to say. I'm whatever the consensus is, I'd be fine with. Um, you know, they, they have a lot of depth. They're, Okay. Um, well, then I shall be what, 30, 35 then. So the yep. average uh, was 35. 36. Yeah, the dollars. average is a 34, which is exactly what TJ needed. That is the average. If I average all of the scores. Sounds good. 34 is fine. The 34 for Hazen, number one. Yep. Okay. Again, on the next one, we're all pretty close. We got a 30 through a 33, with three of them being 32s. Um, 32. 32 for number two. Yeah. Okay. Number two, I have a 34. Number three, I have a 32. Number four, I have a 34. And number five, I have a 32. Um, schedule and budget, we got a, a 10, a 9, and three eights. I think I was, I was one of the eights. I'm one of the eights also, and TJ's one of the eights. I'll tell you what I like about this. Although I'm high, I've not done it yet for anyone in this. No, you haven't. In this ranking. But, you know, we talked about unique skills and what they could do to accelerate things. But this table that they have on the second page where it talked about um, Basically, all of our things that we had in our scope, they talked about unique issues and then potentially solutions to them. And I didn't see anybody else go through that that step. That level of detail. That level of detail for each one of those categories. And they talked about that project control and showed screenshots over our dashboards too, which are variations in them too. Just thought to average. 
they had in with that, but that was something else what they put in there. Which that's to help out yeah. everybody else. Too. Yeah, that's what's stuck in. I would be fine with a nine. Brian, you already said you would be TJ. Sounds good. Rhonda, you okay with going down to a nine? I think good. Okay, nine for number three. Yes. And now number four is ability to meet schedule. We have two nines and eight. I'm not ability to meet schedule. I'm sorry, workloads. One of the things, so we have two nines and eight and two sevens. One of the things I, I wanted to point out is most of the firms, if you look at it, over time, the projection has it going down because projects are being completed. If you look at Hazen, so I gave them a seven. For those key people, they are showing a flat 30% availability across the board. I, and I did not, I based my scoring on what I saw on paper, but this was submitted before they won Peace River. So when we manage them, if they're selected, we are going to have to be very conscious of their ability to actually per perform work in their workloads. Um, but we need to base it on this. I did not factor the Peace River into my score. I gave them a seven. I feel like that's fair. Our average, if you take the two nines, the one eight, and the two sevens, the average is eight. What I'd like to add in addition to, besides the key staff members, they listed all the backups for all the disciplines that yes. they're working with us too, which was nice, besides the organizational um, chart with the percentiles and the availability. But I did see the numbers on the U.S. saying when you look across the scales. It, it, it's flat. It's like everybody's already 70% yeah. utilized. And whereas everybody else, the ones that provide the graph, not everybody else, not everybody provided this format of information, you gradually see a decline over time as projects are finished up. So the variance average, though, was 30 to 50. So, so Anyway, eight, yes. are we good with eight? Yes. Okay, eight for that one. Eight for number four. Uh huh. And then, um, did I give you criteria five? There were five. You didn't give a criteria five. Okay, there were five. Oh, there were five. Yeah, there were five. They were an easy one because they were five. Huh. I'm sorry. This HDR. HDR, Ryan. I gave a thirty three, a thirty, a nine, and a seven. John? HDR, I have a 28, a 27, an 8, and an 8. Wanda, for criteria 1, 29, for criteria 2, 29, for criteria number 3, 8, Number four, seven. Okay, TJ. TR criteria one had a 30. Criteria two, a 26. Criteria three, an eight. Criteria four, a seven. Okay. So I have a criteria one, a 30. Criteria two, a 28. Criteria three and nine. Criteria four a ten. And then for criteria five, I gave them a three. Um, let me go to my notes on that criteria.
So they are, it says, um, they're going to be using staff from the Tampa, Sarasota, and Orlando office. And then when you look at the resumes in the SF 330A through C, it also shows that some of the key people are in that Orlando office. So what's a three from the criteria? Okay, so um, we are all again super pretty close on this one. We have uh, 28 through a 33. Um, so, where does that put us in our groupings? 28. So, we're at the top end of the above average and at the lower end of the exceptional. Um, Most of us are at the top end of the above average. So we have 29, 28, 30, and 30, and then the 33. So Ryan, you were the exceptional. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? The amount of general engineering contracts that they have on on their uh, throughout that they list are is what caught my eye. I, are we sorry, we're still on number one. Yeah, we're number um, one. Um, but that falls at number one. Yes. Um, the it, it was just out of all of the packets that I looked through, I mean, they stood out as one of the exceptional ones to me. Um, so, I mean, it was the experience is pretty extensive, um, definitely in line with what we're looking for. I, there wasn't too much that let me wondering, you know, if they had somebody that would be able to take on that task and and know exactly what we want from them. As far as I, yeah, I I I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure if I saw too many other uh, firms that that seemed like they they had the amount of experience that that I saw with this one, but uh, I I be open to reasonings of why they are well. I the exceptional level. So again, my high score that I gave anybody was a thirty. They got, and I tend to score low. So. Uh, I really, there were a couple of things that I really like in here. So given that I'm usually lower than everybody, I would be willing to go up, but they have this econ H2O tool that they use for prioritizing and scheduled projects within a defined budget. And it, it's, I thought it was a super cool tool. And, you know, when they were talking about it, that is uh, something that could be a good, could really augment our current asset management approach to looking at project needs and such. Um, I also liked, I like the way they used graphics and screenshots in their general discussion. I thought that was really good. Um, I have worked with them. They're, they're a good firm. Uh, I did like their in-house services where they have that list. It's on PDF page 29, where they talk about um, specifically their services and which ones are here locally. And, you know, I, I thought that was really good. So I think I noted in the amount of actual years experience definitely up there. There was some in their 40, 40 years of experience, several in their 30s. That kind of stood out to me too, just how long they've been in it. I, and I really liked, I really liked their org chart. I like the way that they have, um, you know, the key, the check mark, the, you can really can tell by looking at this without having to read a bunch of footnotes, 
who's where, what they're doing, what their role is, like the just the presentation of this board chart, which has a lot of depth, was I thought it was really good. One of the things uh, do you right now? Uh, no, I think we're just kind of open discussion right now about where we're at because we're straddling two different groups. Yeah, there are a couple of the people on the resumes that are not in Tampa. That was a, cons a little bit of a concern, but they have a lot of depth of the work chart. So I saw a little like with the master planning, you know, that was something that was thugged out. And also their engineering support. Maybe that was the main categories. You know, I saw that was a thug, not something that was in terms I thought that was a pretty easy. It wasn't like a geotechnical or something specific. Which, which one are they? Where are you seeing them? Under technical support team. I'm seeing master planning. Oh, I'm going to go down up there. Oh, okay. So, so I was looking at that and then the engineering support also, which is the next call for the sub. Okay. They were just different than some of the other stuff that I've seen previously. Right. But so that, that I mean that's that's a good point. I mean to me that's uh, that kind of falls into then the twenty one to thirty grouping. I would I'd be in agreement with like thirty. The and, high end of the and 30 would actually be the average of what we have before. Is everybody okay with 30? We had two 30s, 29, 28, and a 33. So consensus 30. Go to 34. 34 Yeah, for criteria one. And we're going to criteria two. Um, again, we're all pretty close here. We've got go to what the brackets are with one exception of tj we all have them in the superior category the 27 to 35 group tj has them as a 26 so it is at the very top of the um, other group so tj you want to talk about where you're at and what you were seeing that Most projects had three to four people in the team participating. Good. Yeah, let's just go where I feel like it fell. And where's the consensus at on the next level? Um, so the next level we have 127, 128, 129, and 130. So where are we? <laughs> I see here we're um one project was transportation. Yes. And then, um, which is why I gave them a 28 instead yeah. of a 30. Yeah. That was where I, 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 29. That's where I had um, gone down from personal on it to a 28. Now, our average, our average would be a 28. Unless anybody feels strongly. I mean, you've got a 30, a 27, a 29, a 26, and a 28. So, yeah. Yeah. Is that 28? 28 for criteria two. Uh, <laughs> next one is three eights and two nines. Eight. 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 Yeah. The next one is three sevens and eight and a ten. And you got the eight and the ten in there. Oh, all great. I John was an eight, and so TJ, you said you'd be good with an eight. I'd be good with an eight. You had a seven nine. Yes, that was because. Starting slower. It's slower on me. 
um, I think it was just based off of the availability that I saw that they that they listed just yeah, of, uh, you know it was between thirty to sixty percent and uh, some some of the ones that I've looked at had sixty percent availability all across the board and it just seemed like it it felt like this was on the lower end of what is still plenty plenty of availability for us but uh but yeah I, but it's higher than pays the price anyway doesn't matter but they have this graph down below that shows the projections moving forward it, so you have the table that lists the people with their current availability and then you have the graph that shows over time what's happening as projects close out. Green is more. Green is available. Blue is already in use. Sure. I'm in agreement with moving up. But. So we're going with an eight. I can agree on an eight. Oh, I can. Yeah. <laughs> so eight for criteria four for HDR. Okay. Next is Jacobs. So I'll make it stuck up on Jacobs. So, Jacobs, ready? Go, Ryan. Um, Jacobs, I gave it 29, a 27, a 9, and a 9. John. I have Jacobs at a 29. I have a 2, 25, 3, I have a 7, and 4, I have a 7. On the Jacobs, I have a 33. For criteria 1, for criteria 2, I have a 31. For criteria number 3, I have a 9. And then for criteria number 4, I have a 7. Okay. PJ. Criteria 1 out of 30. Criteria two, a 27. Criteria three, and eight. And criteria four, and eight. Okay. And I had criteria one, a 30. Criteria two, a 26. Criteria three, a seven. Criteria four, a nine. And location, the criteria five, I have a four. And let me go back to there. They are um, using services. Again, it's the uh, most of the main stuff is here, but not all they are using services from Orlando, Gainesville, and Jacksonville. But those aren't like main. main. 
So, okay. Um, actually, this should, we are in pretty close alignment across the board on this one, so it shouldn't be, we are, so for Jacobs, we're ranging from 29 to 33. So 29 is at the high end of above average. So we've got four of us in the um, above average. So we have two 29s and two 30s. And then we have 133, which is the exceptional. Well, London, so a 30. Yeah. That's a 30 30. You guys are good with 30? The number one. 30 for number one. The next one, we're also not too far off. We've um, go to the what's that is there. We've got a 25, a 26, two 27s, and a 31. Um, we're straddling the upper end of the top category and the second of the top category. We're straddling those. I, since three of them are into the top category, I would be fine with going into the top category. I would say a 27 would work for me. There are already two 27s. So, a, yeah, and me coming down and somebody else coming up. And John, you had a 25. You are probably the are, are, this, are you okay with 27? Yeah, it's all too much. I'm fine with that. Okay. Um, now we have two nines, two sevens, and one eight. 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 Yes. Eight. Uh, next, we have two nines. Oh, sorry, I just mentioned one eight. thing about. Yes. You know, when we talk about criteria number three, what's kind of stuck out to me is they were one of the few that mentioned risk management. Oh. Um, and they talked about critical paths. And they provided three projects on time within budget. Their um, Also, are you thinking we should consider maybe, where did we land? Well, we had two sevens, two nines, and one eight. So both you and Ryan were the nine. So were you thinking along the same line? I mean, I'm, at least that's what I had for them. I, I rarely gave out nines or tens for this section and what they provided definitely stood out to me um, all that they gave with that flow chart but averages a well I, I mean let's if you know you felt strongly enough to bring it up let me go look at this again in more detail and maybe Can you go back to number two, the consensus? So I got to think. Um, so for Jacobs, our number one was 30, right. number two was 27. And now we're talking about number three. three. I mean, I said eight at first, but, but, but then, talking about yeah, it. but then Lovett brought up a point of why she thinks we should consider higher than the eight. And so we're well, there's that flow chart, right? Yeah. And then it talks about all the things they were the way it was represented. I don't remember others talking about during the management. And you know how that said why you're doing the back critical mm -hmm. and then having that perspective on what we need to do in order to meet this way. I don't know, maybe just the way this was represented. Right. It made it was presented. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you are but, right about the way they kind of tied all of those pieces into schedule and budget, which on many of the others, the conversation right. only focused on maybe construction costs or, you know, budgeting or cost estimating for construction projects, or they really didn't look at it as holistically. So I, I, you are, 
you are correct. They did provide something that is more in depth. Without, and it is a lot of work. Yes, it's got a lot of work. Yes. Visuals. Yes. I like graphics. Work. I like it when things are presented in a graphical form like this. It just makes it so much easier to just. Yeah. I'm willing to adjust, but I wanted to explain why. No, I appreciate that. I mean, I, I mean, that is a really good point. I would, I would concede that that is, yes. Yeah, I could too. You were already there, I want you. John? Bell number four. Number three. <laughs> it's been a long day. Not eight. Right. Yeah. We've got one up. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, okay. so it's a nine. Okay. Now we go to the last one. We have kind of the same setup here. Seven, seven, eight, nine, nine. Um, this one I gave a nine to. And let me look at what it was. Uh, something else that stuck out to you. I mean, I think it was the, you know, the, yeah, the project manager has a lot of availability, uh, the backup, like both of them are very skilled and talented and the backup of backup project manager actually is the lead in a different position and she has 55% availability. I mean, I just, it seemed to me like there was good availability and then they also, you know, they state that uh oh just happened just did something here i don't know what it did high level of uh they have a high level of local represent responsiveness and a deep bench of support personnel so i thought that was that kind of spoke to me that's why i was going to find there um Availability and they analyze existing projects and workloads of their staff. And so I, I just, to me, it sounded like a nine, but eight would be our average. I have seven of averages here. I'm fine with eight also. Okay. So eight, eight for number four. Yes. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. So J and T is our next one. Okay, I'm ready to move on. I gave a 16, 8, a 9, and a 9. Okay, John. This is on Johnson, correct? I have a 20 in category one, a 16, eight, and an eight. Can you read that number? 20, 16, eight, and an eight. Thank you. For number one, I had a 29. For number two, I had 14. 14, 14. For number three, I had a seven. For number four, I had an eight. Okay, and TJ. For one, I had a 25. Two, I had a 22. For three, I had an eight. For four, I had an eight. Okay. I have 
number one of 15, number two of 15, or number three and eight, or four a 10. And for location criteria five, I have a one. Now in their proposal back in section F, they're listing the prime office as being here in Hillsborough County in Tampa. But when you actually look at the resumes, the staff is not here. The staff is all, uh, you know, I mean, it's like two of them are in Tampa. And then the, you got a Hunt Valley, Maryland, Virginia Beach, Virginia, Hunt Valley, Maryland, Virginia Beach. So they're not even not local, they're not in the state. Um, so that's a one. They were predominantly Maryland. Yeah, and, and the were, same with the projects. And that's Pittsburgh too. So they're a Northeast company that looks to me like what they're doing. And again, this is great. We, we have plenty of work in the Tampa Bay area. They're moving into Florida and are just getting started is the way it looks to be. Um, so if we, so, but it does impact their score for local based on the criteria. So now consensus scoring for the different criteria, we are all over the board. So we're gonna have some conversations here. Um, so we have two, two of the scores are in the above average and the rest of the scores are in the adequate level of experience. So our above average is our 29 and a 25. So London and TJ, what jumped out at you? I think for me, even though that, that was a 29, it's still typically lower than um, where you, you have to, like the, relative to right, your right, other, other people. Yeah. I got that, you know, they mentioned it stood out to me they mentioned biosolids. They had several long term employees. They did a lot of the work in house, including electrical escaping. That's what kind of stink. Um, what else? That's kind of like Mine was just the, the project seemed to align most of them with what we're looking for, even though they weren't really local. That's why I scored them a little lower than not normally do. Or is their capability? I also did have notes in here that professional engineering services for traffic and road safety. But some of the team members have experience with water and sewer projects. That must have been in their narrative. So one of the, you know, I mean, back to, to your comment there about what they have, um, I have in my notes that the principal in charge has no wastewater or water. Okay. He's the local person. Um, and and then the contract manager is also one of the local, the two local people. Um, it looks to me as if he's relocated up here from South Florida, because uh, it looks like most of his projects were down that way. And I was just curious when he moved up here. I'm wondering, if, you know, when did this firm move into the area? Did it, this looks like they're, it, yeah, brand new. Um, I could be wrong. They've been around. Really? I have never run into them, JT. I have not. You have? I, okay, maybe it's the wastewater water business that, that they knew that we might get into. That could, could be. I remember seeing them at a Tampa office back in 2013 and 14. Wow, okay, well, I am wrong. So, I just I must not, I have not. I know, had any... So, one note that I have, and, and it's kind of what I 
None of or my impression of that company is they're transportation heavy. Maybe that's why I haven't um, heard it. That's why I've never heard of So and that that was one of the things that dropped me dropped my score to what it was was the focus or how much transportation or how little of between the resumes that I saw that were projects that align with what we're looking for. Um, so I think after, mm -hmm. I I gave it a 16. Yeah, I gave it a 15. So we're right at the same ballpark. Well, that was most of my heart. Man. I gave it by end of that same category I gave it a 20, but I was still in that 11 to 20 range. All right. <laughs> yes. Lower for me, but it's well, relatively higher. I mean, do you, how would you feel about going with a 20? I could do a 20. PJ, John, that puts oh, the, John was a 20. That's the high end of the category. That yes. is the high end of the middle category. Yeah, good. Okay, so 20 for criteria one on um, JMT. Now, here we were, we had more consensus on criteria two, which is the projects. Uh, we have 14, 16, 22, 8, and 15. So I think we already spoke to that because a lot of the projects were transportation related or stormwater related and not our type of water wastewater. And no cost figures were provided. So I, I mean, yeah, that's why I gave the high end again on the category two. I was at a 16, so I was still in that 14. Yeah, and I had a 15. So, uh, and then Brian, you had an eight and you had a 22 TJ. So I don't. Um, I was just did ask you, that's pretty low for me. That's the only reason. So, do you want to go? Not much local. You want to just, let's see, we've got. A couple of us clustered right around the high end of the nine to 16 category. You want to go with a 15? 15. Okay. 15 for number two. 15 for number two. Here, here we, unless somebody has anything that really jumps out at them, we had a seven, three eights, and a nine. Eight. And and the next one, we have three eights, a nine, and a ten. I don't know why I get a ten. Let me double check my notes. I gave us no ten. Uh, I thought they had really good availability from the key staff members that they were showing, and that's their current road, workload. Um, and then they have a really good, a good statement that I highlighted, which I didn't do that on any of them. And it just says uh, JMT statewide management team meets on a weekly basis to allocate resources to projects based on our estimated needs for each and backup staffing and such. But um, I'm, I am fine with, I'm fine with going down. What do we have? Well, Ryan and I were nine and 10. So Ryan and I, I mean, the rest of you were eights. I think that that one, I think it was just, they were very available. Yeah, exactly. That, yeah, I like their statement about how they manage it. So it was... The whole section on backup staffing. Correct. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and that's where they talk about managing of it and how they have the weekly meetings and, and balance the staff. So. You okay with nine? I do with sticking the bus. Yeah. Nine. Nine for number three. Uh for number four. Number three was an eight. 
Okay. Then you had a one for five, correct? Yes, I have one for five. Next is Kennedy Jenks. Okay, Brady and Kennedy Jenks. So Ryan. I gave a twenty-four, a twenty-eight, a seven, and a eight. John. Kennedy, we got a twenty-eight and one, a twenty-seven and two, a six and three. And eight and four. London. For category one, I have a 29. For category two, I have a 22. Category three, For category four, I have a six. PJ. Um, category one, I have a 28. Category two, 25. Category three and eight. Category category four and eight. And I have for category one a twenty-five. Category two a twenty-four. Category three a ten. Category four a nine. Location is a three. They have uh, project controls and performance in Virginia Beach and asset management services in Virginia Beach. The rest of it's local, so it's a uh, great. Um, okay. So criteria one. We are 24 to 29 is the range. Everything is in the above average level, so we're all in the same. We're all in the same category. We put them all in the same bracket, I guess is the way to say it. Um, and the average would actually be like a 27. So you got a 29 London, two 28s, John and TJ, 24 Ryan, 25 Lisa. I can come down. A27 for criteria one, uh, criteria two, we have a 22 through a 28. So we have four of us are, are in the more than adequate and one of us is in superior. So Ryan, you want to talk about was the amount of ongoing general services that they listed um, all across the U.S. kind of stuck out to me, or maybe not all across the U.S., all across the Southern. Um, it seemed like that to me they they dipped their toes in most things that we required from them, but I think one of the things they focused on, there was a good bit of uh, asset management, which I know is not necessarily something we need since we have a pretty established team of that. Um, I think for me, it was mainly that that on-call engineering services, one of them being in Polk County, uh, that they're all still ongoing, sticks out to me. Yeah, I have that. Mainly uh, looking through, the, and I guess it's the individual projects that I don't really have notes on the specific ones that stood out to me, but 
uh, I believe I saw like the permit renewal in there. If I remember correctly, but it seemed like it was a well-rounded team, but I it could also be up for discussion on why they're slightly below superior. It's one of the things that I kept in my head and maybe not the best way to think about it was when I saw on-call engineering or miscellaneous service contracts and they listed half of their projects for that. Yeah. That's kind of. No, I agree that because that's exactly the type of contract this is going to be. So I, I do agree with you. Two of them are in Florida. The others are in Texas and California. And I did have that in the notes. Um, I guess. That, you know, they've had one of the Texas ones for 14 years. Um, they've done quite a bit of work. I did also have they had a lot of dates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we scored. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but then I had two asset management and one can of software implementation. Can's type software implementation. Uh, I've got the majority of the projects are out of state. Yeah. Um, that that was one of the things that I think that's why I'm going to do over them. Um, I can in agreement that though they were out of state of Arlington and Austin, so it was cities that are comparable uh, bigger than Tampa. So I find myself as kind of they, I see them as sort of same size cities as Tampa, maybe not Austin, I might bigger, but uh, I, I could be in agreement that they're above average, maybe not superior. But that, that was a, a value yeah, difference. Yeah, so we had um, on the lower end, London and I, and I think we're, I think just based on the conversation we're having now, I think that out of state aspect of that was, yeah, it, it did impact that. I would be good, more on criteria too, I would be good with. Um, John, do you have anything, or TJ, you guys want to add to no, it? It's most not local, but they're relevant. They're relevant. Oh, yeah. <coughs> I mean, 26. That's what I'm talking about. 26. I'm not the higher range of that. Yeah, 26. 26 for number two. 26 for number two. Kennedy James. Correct. So now we have criteria three. Um, we have a little bit more of a spread there than usual. <laughs> we have one, six, two, sevens, and eight and a ten. So uh, why did I get that next year? Uh, what I have in my notes here is a good graphical representation. <laughs> Excuse me. Clear explanation and covered all of the points that we had asked for. Um, that would be go back to it. I like that flowchart type of graphic that they had at the top, where it really talks about um, defining the goals, assigning the right staff. I, you know, I, I thought that was really good. And then there was a couple sentences down here that I highlighted. Our effective project management goes beyond establishing a schedule, developing budgets, and assigning personnel. It includes communicating effectively with you and responding proactively to problems or changes. So I, that jumped out at me. And then they do have um, a software it, it looks like that they use to talk about as well. So I mean I'm not married to my 10, but those were some of the things that influence my 10 there. And then we had uh on the six on the other end, John. Watch the notes on why 
as far as to raise that person and schedule them. Again, it was just the uh, neighbors playing. I mean, talk about school and schedule, but then really get into specifics for defining the uh, schedule outlook for somebody in the company and play. Well, the average of the scores that are in here is an eight. Yeah, I'm in the same category, so I'm not far off. I'm in that same. So, middle, I guess I'm just on the end. So, I mean, I have no problem raising my. Strong feelings one way or the other? That's fine. I think I was on seven, right? Yeah. Okay. So, eight? Yeah, eight's fine. And then criteria four, we're much closer. We've got three eights, one nine, and one six. London. <laughs> Of my notes say team members listed, specialties not listed, bracket provided. Let me go back to you. You know, from what I remember, I think this is the one where the parentheses meant the years of service that they've been with the. I don't even know if I remember that correctly, so that's what those parentheses means. I'm on page 57. 56 of the PDF is what I'm looking at. Well, 56 or 75, I don't know. Huh. This is the table that I'm looking at. Yeah, I've got Roman numerals for pages. It's just LBI. Yeah, mine says LBI too, but yes, but. Um, yeah, it's it's been <laughs> And then it made it look like good availability. So the later kids. And it's, and again, this is. What happens if you tell type in LBI? Will it actually go there? That's the first one I've seen. I know. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing the Roman numerals. That's where I set that up. They get the article and flip points in the word. This this one, well, bookmarks actually are working. Some one of the bookmarks in this one did not work. It was the one to, yeah. But the criteria number two bookmarks do not work. But criteria three and four work. I don't know. It didn't. Really, yeah, it wasn't fully bookmarked. Gotcha. There was one of them, I think it was Jacobs, that it always took you to the last page of the prior section instead of the first page of the section you were looking for. Yeah, section. So it's either this one. It's six. Uh huh. The rest of us were eight and nine. I can come up. Uh, going back and looking at it, I think it's, I was focused on backup. But they did have the graphics listed. Graphics and they do have strong ability. So I'd be going. Okay, so eight. Eight. Okay. okay. So next is Kimley Water. I'd like to close. I need to open a new series of PDFs.
Can we on? Uh, is everyone ready? Go right. I gave them a 31, a 27, and an 8, and an 8. Okay. And John? I have a 30, and I have a 28, and I have an 8, and an 8. And London for number one, point seven, two, and three, number three, number four, and seven. Kenny and TJ. Number one, I had a 30, two, a 26, three, a seven, four, a seven. And I have a 22, an 18, a 7, a 10, and criteria 5, they have a 5. So why am I so much lower than I put them at the lower end of the above average category. Um, the, Ryan put them at the bottom end of the exceptional, but everybody else was in the above average category. So four of us are in the above average, even though I'm at the low end of it. Um, so let me see, why am I at the low end? Uh, one of the, one of the reasons was the age of projects on resumes. Um, they were older projects on there and that jumped out at me. Um, so that was probably why I put them at the lower end. It's the problem when you do spend weeks working on these little by little. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so that is what I have there as far as, but I do have them in the above average category. Yeah, so, and also they don't hit the, they don't have bookmarks. What? Bookmarks. They don't have yeah, bookmarks. bookmarks. I thought they explained the abilities of the firm and their capabilities well. I think they had a great old chart attached in that. Um, they had the bullet tie stuff, sections of the members along with the old chart. I mean, also the first few people I know that um, their resume stuck out. Um, they were all ongoing or, you know, recent projects actually, you know, and uh, their members on those two, I know they were at nine and 12 years of service along with the correlation with the projects. And I mean, that's what stuck out through their tenured staff. Well, I think another thing is, you know, like, and that's why I have my third push yeah. at the high end of the average. I think with the lower end of the above average. Uh, who was it who was a, a... I have them in there. Exceptional. You had them at exceptional. Um, why, there, why? The amount of projects that was listed. Um, I mean, they went from facility projects to just the general engineering. Um, they kind of list out all that they did for well, says uh, the different section, but exactly like the Manatee County General Utility Services, they kind of List out in their resumes, but further along, you can see more into what they actually did. Um, and it just seems like, you know, they what they were doing there is pretty much what we're going to be asked for. Same with St. Pete Beach. Um, and 
I saw stuff from pipeline work to facility work, you know, all in between um, the years of experience. I guess I didn't quite notice some of the the dates that they listed. Um, there, as, as I'm looking through, is uh, I noticed you said some of them were a little bit older, but I guess I'm kind of quickly scrolling through to see. Uh, if you go to page 115 of 115 more. Okay, okay. Which, that's on that one guy's resume. Yeah, Which. so if he is considered one of their key people, mm -hmm. and the, yeah, that's why that kind of looks like, wait a second, I mean, yeah, hasn't he worked on anything in the last five years? Yes. I, what has he been doing for the last five years? Yep. I'm going to bring that up. He's so, on. Uh, if he's one of the key people. He's not. He's in the cost evaluating uh, criteria on the org chart. Well, well, they're saying he's resiliency and hurricane preparedness, cost evaluating, value engineering, and they provided resumes for key personnel. So they're considering him a key personnel. I gotcha. I, when I look at that, I look at the org chart and I look at the four that were at the top of their org chart and they were very extensive and covered a broad range and listed all the projects. Yeah. So. And then there was also in one of the other ones, the one right above it, but really it's GIS. So, I mean, lighting and data, this database is really the key there. So, um, I I'm, and then, you know, and then, yeah, I I would be fine going up, but I would not be comfortable going to exceptional. I'm in agreement that they don't need to be an exceptional. I was, I was on borderline there, but that's why I said I stopped at the cost on that a third. And that went on the project manager, the backup project manager, the principal in charge, and your QAC manager of the I mean uh, they, they align all with our principles and list of a lot of work that's associated with what we do. The lowest was 20. 22 was me. And I mean. So they talked about. Um, I feel comfortable then being in the middle range of above average. Yeah, I was, I mean, London gave them a 27. I was thinking of compromise to a 27. Uh -huh. uh, I'm in agreement. I think we brought down. Okay, so 27 it is for criteria one. Criteria two. Uh, I am the low one again, so why am I looking at the low one? Oh, so this is where I felt like many of the projects <laughs> that they were showing were standalone projects. It was hard for me to tell based on the information provided. that was provided. Uh, three of the projects are ongoing, and the other five are have ranges between 2019 and 2023 so they're completed there was really good crossover on the project with um project list though but um it, i just had and maybe i missed it um uh, but looking at the projects i could i was seeing mainly what looked like standalones to me Yeah, the, I mean, a total fee of 658, right. that's it's above the CCNA. Right. Um, the second one is, yeah, it, it, to me, it just looked like a lot of standalone projects and not CES or continuing services yeah. kind of projects. Yeah. So it, it though, they are projects that relate to the type of things we would have. The scope of those standalones is much higher, much bigger 
and more longer term and more in depth than what you could potentially get on the standalone. I mean, I mean on the continuing services. Yes. So that that is what drove my score. I could come down. That makes that makes sense to me what you're saying. Yeah, but definitely experience in wastewater the the quick projects that get them get going and get them done now. Um, you know, the little things. Yes. Like we we have a a failing something something that we just need somebody in there quickly past and it, that those aren't it that they're showing us. So that's why I went with eighteen. Um, let's look at the ranges here. I think I was the high. The eighteen was is at the lower end of the. Uh, more than adequate. Um, I I would not go into superior. Okay. Uh, but I would be fine with moving up higher and more than adequate if that's the consensus. Maybe like a twenty-two. I mean, we had well, like yeah. What did the rest of you think? I mean, you know what you scored before. Where do you? After discussion, I could definitely be agreeable to put them more in the more than adequate um, upper half of the more than adequate. So 23 with kind of 22, 23. Okay. okay. I could feel confident right to that. Splitting it down the middle. So 23. Um, John, I'm John? Yeah, I'm just trying to say what the problem what you brought up and reviewing some of the projects that are associated with it. Yeah, take your time. I had them a little bit higher on the score, score. So the project costs and stuff. And I mean, I mean, some of them are sizable projects and recent. Or which would they do that Southwest Rethink, which is the land fee. There's, I mean, I, I'm, I'm fine. I was in the superior range on the low end, but I mean, I've come down to the adequate that category. Where are we trying to go down? Well, I think there's we we have talked twenty three. That's fine. Three. I can do twenty three. Okay. Criteria three. We have three eights and two sevens. Eight. Yes. Uh, criteria four, we have two sevens, two eights, and a ten. I I would be fine. With, well, let me look at what I put. Like, if I have anything really standing out on what I gave on the ten. No bookmarks. I, I think the reason on their table where they list their staff, you can see six months out, there's a lot of availability coming. And I was, um, which shows that, you know, there's projects finishing up and they're going to be putting out time, which is why you see the six plus month at the end of the table. <clears throat> yeah, right now they have work in May. Well, it's not even May anymore, so that's like, behind us. Um, so that's why I gave you 10. But I would be fine with 
an eight or a nine or an eight. I can't give an eight. Probably not an eight, so I add Eight. 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 Okay. Okay. Next is. Can we take a short, like, five minute break? Yeah, can we just run to the restroom? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> five minutes. Back in five minutes.
and then get this on the screen. Yeah. All right, and we're back. Okay. Um, thank you. Are you ready? Ryan Long, or you're up first. All right. I'm ready. The for long criteria number one, I gave a 10. Number two, I gave an eight. Number three, I gave a seven. And an eight. Eight for criteria. John. All right. Long. Category one, I was at a 15. Category two, at a 15. Category three, at a seven. Category four, at a seven. Okay, London. Category one, five. Category two, at two. Category three, at four. And category five, I had, excuse me. Criteria four and add a seven. <laughs> okay, PJ. Category one, I had an eight. Category two, I had a seven. Category three, I had a seven. Category four, I had a seven. Okay. And I had category one, I had a five. Category two, I had a five. Category three, I had a seven. In category four, I had a seven. For number five, category five, I have a five. They are completely local. Um, again, this is a specialty firm of architects. Um, we really don't have that kind of work. If we do, it's part of a huge project expansion, like a big project expansion, which is going to be a separate. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a separate solicitation. We don't have a need for an architect that I'm aware of. And you would know, TJ, you're overall at yeah. our facility right. maintenance. So it has already existing concerns. Renovations, which is a whole other separate project. And that's not actually the an architect, that's just a, a construction. construction crew. So you would know your overall facility. So um, I, I agree. It's not a company that's in line for what we're looking for for this contract. I don't know. They have really good skills for what they yeah. do. It's just not what we need. Uh, so I mean, the average, if I just average the scores that we have for criteria one, it is a nine. Are you guys good with that? Yep. Okay. For the category two, if I just average, we have an eight. Good with that? Yes, Okay. The next category, we have four sevens and one four. Are you okay with a seven? Okay. In the next court category, we have four sevens and an eight. Wait, so you'll go with the seven. Seven, seven for number three. Okay. And I think we're going to end up on the seven for number four as well. That works for me. Okay. So that is long. Um, next up is going to be McKim and Creed. Okay, so McKim and Creed is Ryan. I gave McKim a 27, a 25, an 8, and an 8. Okay, 
John. I have a 27. I have a 26. I have a 7 and a 7. Okay. Wow, you can hear that all the way up here. Wow. Okay. London? For number one, I have 35. For number two, I have 33. For number three, I have eight. And for number four, I have eight. Okay, TJ. Number one, I had a 33. Number two, I had a 30. Number three, an eight. Number four, an eight. Okay, I have a 30, a 25, six, and a 10. And for location, a five. So starting with criteria one, it looks like we're all pretty much in agreement on that one. But we go. I think that was the high. You were the high at 35, but TJ was right behind you at 33, and I was right behind that at 30. So we've got two in the exceptional and three of us in the above average. But again, 30 is the highest score I gave anybody. So um, one of the things about McKinnon Creed, which is a service that is pretty important to us. They have a very strong SCADA INC group. And um, that's one of their key people in the resumes where they're talking about it. Um, and we'll go to that resume as well. Okay. So it, it was uh, Mike. Mike Stoop, and he is also on the, he very active with national cybersecurity, which is obviously a big concern with SCADA and INC. So that weighed heavily in my giving that team a 30 in their abilities. Um, I know other teams reference SCADA and INC, and uh, they were the only but, that I heard. Word that was brought out about the cybersecurity. Correct. It's exactly. That um, it's a big concern. It's a big concern, especially with all the new going to be coming up for renewal pretty soon. Where we have to submit where we are with our cybersecurity. Correct. There's a lot of requirements coming from EPA related to cyber cybersecurity and INC and such. So that is also. Um, one that jumped out to me that was uh, a key part of my consideration. I don't know if there's any other discussion on this. I mean, John and Ryan, you had them at the 27th. Well, TJ London and I had them higher. I don't know if there's anything specific. I mean, 27 is pretty good. That's in the higher end of the above. Yeah. I think the only thing that stuck out to me was. Um, the dates listed of some of the projects. It seems like that, that whole idea of what have you been able to the past couple of years? Good point. Yeah. Uh, Good argument. Point. Uh, but that was pretty much it. I mean, they they definitely have the experience, um, and they're definitely well rounded. I I can be in agreement to move them on. I'm fine with it too. I mean, they are. Okay, so we've got um, 35, 33, 30, and 227s. I mean, 31 as a consensus. Actually, else have a small level. Sure. 31, because yeah, they have some projects, but we're not. We're not at projects yet. Yeah. 31 at McKinsey. Yes. 
but that resume is attached to a lot of um, work and a lot of big projects there. Yeah, to me it was bad. I mean, to me, it, the cybersecurity and the SCADA really, because that is a big, a big concern and a big push. I mean, we're in the middle of a big audit related to that. There's going to be an upcoming requirement from DEP for certain types of things. There's not, this is a, yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, projects. We uh, are a little more in sync here. We had two twenty fives, so a twenty six, a thirty, and a thirty three. So a uh, thirty and thirty three are in the superior range. The twenty fives and twenty six are at the high end of the more than adequate. So we're in the top two categories here. Um, London, the 33, what was it on the projects that was? So for me, the um, the format of how they laid things out was just, it was easy to follow where others were just a little, I don't know, their format seemed just cleaner and I could follow what was happening. But what I may have missed is the upper cost of some of those projects and perhaps that might not have fallen into the services and more the CIP. So I may have gone a little higher than mm -hmm. I should have. I think I saw them that's now at seven. Yeah, there are definitely a yeah. couple that are standalone versus continuing services in here. And I I do so if I'm being consistent, I should probably come down. Right. right. But I it was initially just okay, they had the cost. The format was easy to follow. They were within the five year mark. These were related projects to what we're doing. Yeah, there's, you know what? I mean, I think you're definitely there. And they're all the ranges of when the projects are, are all from like 2020 to ongoing. They're all current, but it was not as heavily on. The continuing services type of miscellaneous there were more standalone um, there is a good crossover though on the project team so a lot of coordination yeah, within the team which is good okay let's bring it up to the lower end of superior yeah. but the added perform and added yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and find it. So what you're thinking a 27? I was either thinking maybe a 28 or a 29. So we've got John. Well, Ryan, you were also a 25. So John, you were a 26. Definitely. And I can move a couple of times, so I'm fine with that to a 28 or whatever, if that's what we're looking at. Okay, so I would be fine going to a 28. Okay, I'm good with 28. Good with that. 28 for number two on the count. Yep. Now we have criteria three. We have three eights, a seven, and a six. Why did I give them a six? Oh, I just, my only note here is I would like more information on how they're going to do this. Their narrative must have been very generic. Let me look at it again. They had the statements, I remember, and they had the chart to just show in several jobs that they achieved schedule. And but they didn't really provide info on their current staff. No. Like where, what is the current staff's? Nope. Well, no, that's the next criteria. Right. I'm sorry. It's been a long day. Mm -hmm. um, I don't I don't know. There's nothing jumping out of me, so I, I don't I'm swayable to go up. So we have three eights and a seven. My comment where they had a risk based approach. Um, working on developing accurate cost estimates. How many times we've gotten the cost estimate? God forbid, and it's significantly different. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, it 
Table three reference eight projects where the schedules were taken quicker. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and cost control summaries are also listed. I would be fine with going with an eight. I don't know why I get a good six. I agree with that. I'm going to go with that. Eight for criteria three. And then criteria four, we have three eights, a seven, and a ten. Eight it is. Eight. Eight, it is. Eight, it is. Eight, it is. Eight, it is. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so that was McKim. Now uh, our next one will be Mead and Hunt. Let's give me a second to get things pulled up. Okay. Ryan. I gave a 29, a 25, an 8, and an 8. Okay. John. Mm -hmm. I have a 32, a 30, an 8, and an 8. Eight. Hold on. Eight. Eight. Oh, okay, London. And for criteria one, I had a 30. Criteria two, a 33. Criteria three, I have an eight. And criteria four, a seven. Okay. BJ. Uh, criteria one, I had a 31. Criteria two, I had a 27. Criteria three, an eight. Criteria four, an eight. Okay. So I have a 22 for criteria one, 18 for criteria two, an eight for criteria three, a seven for criteria four. Four and criteria five location is a three in in their tab. Uh, what is this tab called? In F tab F, they're also listing Orlando, Port Orange, Middleton, Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and stuff for some of the staff that's listed on there. Um, so, so so they do have other the area slash state from here. Um, okay, now going to the beginning, our first one. Criteria one. So, I'm at the lower end of the above average. Um, and Ryan is at the upper end of above average. Everybody else is in the exception. So why am I at where I am? So I, what, one of the things I was missing in their narrative was that general discussion that I had mentioned before with other proposals where they don't really give that general discussion about the different disciplines and such. Uh, there is no deputy project manager or backup project manager, however you want to refer to them. Um, So go Several of the key people are out of state in the resumes. That stuck out to me as well. Like several of those key people in the resumes were are actually out of state. Um, I do like on their org chart. I put a note about the uh, 
table that they have that shows the people. Page 33. Yes, yeah, 33. I like that table. I thought that, that was a very nice representation of who exactly did, has what skills against our scope. So I really did like that table. Um, that those were my comments, and I think it was was missing that narrative discussion and the out of state aspect of some of the key people and what was you relying on them. That's what put me at the lower end of the above act. Uh, the format that they had, they had like where they associated the page dedication to their four current projects where they're doing professional services for the four different counties. You know, and then they gave their own chart and the breakdown, which had the extensive project. I mean, they only had the one contract manager listed, but on the projects, and you know, they had the multiple disciplines and all that backups and everything too. You know, and then the resumes were outstanding on some of them, especially with the tenure in the industry one, and then several of them with the tenure with the company. So, um, you know, and that's where why I was at the thirty-two on the lowest side of the exceptional. You know, and it correlated. I think they had the graph where everybody break down to and all the disciplines and stuff that they're associated with. So, lowest score and highest score have spoken. Ryan, you, you are also in the above average but not exceptional so what were your thoughts there um just the <laughs> the size of the team with the backups sticks out to me that there's plenty of uh, people to be involved the amount of experience was one for me that that stood stood out um i think all in all it seemed like another well-rounded team you had people covering all disciplines like like for needy. Um I think the the prime firm does have superior professional resources to provide the services. Uh, I think the the prime um, the project lead the, the contract manager Definitely seems like he has plenty of experience, uh, plenty of more recent projects to show. You know, he's definitely in, in the thick of things with doing what we what we're expecting. Um, but ultimately, nothing put me in that exceptional level. Uh, I think, uh, and it kind of bleeds over to the second. Um, Category, but one thing they pointed out was how they had 63 different continuing service contracts or have had 63 continuing service contracts. So like, you can only list so much on your right. resume. Yeah. Um, so that stood out to me. And yeah, that, that organizational chart, or not the organizational chart, but the, the, the chart the, afterwards right. kind of showed me, hey, even if they're not listed as a backup for something, there's plenty of people that could fill in as a backup for some of the positions. Um, so I all in all thought the team as a whole was above average. At, at the higher end. So I am fine. I'm I am definitely willing to come up. Um, what do we what are we thinking? Um, so London, you were a 30 as well. So London. Ryan and I were in the above average, but not exceptional. So <clears throat> would we be okay with a 30? EJ and EJ and John. Would you be okay with going down to a 30? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna 31, so I'm fine with that. But then my score on the next call, I'll be fine. Okay. 31, 30, 30, yeah. lead, right? Yes. Number one. Yep. Okay. So our next one is again, I am the outlier. 
Okay, but this is like here. I have them in the uh, more than adequate category, which is also where you have them on in, is in the more than adequate category. Everybody else has them in the superior category. So some of my comments on this. Um, back to it, it looked like the uh, and and I could have looked at this wrong, but it looks like the projects they were giving us were all standalone. And they aren't giving us. Like there are a couple of these, and I can't remember exactly who it was, where it was continuing services after continuing services with right. with right. These were all standalone, or at least they looked that way to me. Um it wasn't clear. I guess if we look at those costs, I mean now that you're saying I was, you know, I was focusing more on the design for 25. Um so. Yeah, I mean, they. I guess if I look at the costs, they could be well now because construction hasn't gone up yet. I think it's too because it, if you remember in the resume section, like when I said I brought up before, they talked about their continual services contracts. So I think they would, you know what I mean? It's some of it they had uh, with a 55 plus project going in Orange County, and one of the other ones was Pasco where they got nine plus going, and they've been serving there for three years. Yes, so those are so you know they talked about it in the other categories. Yeah, but it's not. Yes, yeah, so what they they headlined with that before their resumes. They can. No, right, but, they, but they're you know like yeah. even even if, so they're we're having to guess based on looking at fees and costs if they could be yes, you know whereas I don't I that was one of. The things that impacted me. Now they have pretty good crossover of staff participation, with a couple of exceptions where people might have only worked on one thing. Um, I know Russ is new to the firm, so you wouldn't expect him to have done much there yet. But um, I think the atmosphere where John is getting at. So they have basically in the project narrative listing all of their general or the. <laughs> Continuing services projects, and it seems like they sort of focused on leaving those in that section. Because those all seem like they're a little bit of 200 to 500 thousand dollar range budgets. Um, and kind of focused on keeping the continuing services projects there <laughs> and then kind of trying to lay out the bigger projects. Yeah, but, they, but that goes back to what I was saying in that part where they didn't give me the narrative about they, they gave me more projects. Yes. They didn't give me the narrative about their firm's skills and their they gave me projects and then they give me more projects, which projects are good. Right. It, so that yes. was that for doing apples to apples. You know, that's not, I wasn't asking for, we were, we're looking for, yeah, you know, like, I, I just, I mean, I don't know. I think I was out here. Uh, you were, London, you were 33. So I came up significantly on criteria one. Uh, I'll say that I, Probably have their the first project listed, kind of help sway me, even if it isn't a general services project. And the, the what was the first project? Water supply plan for pollution. It's a pretty picture. I don't know. I, I like the like sun on the water. It's very pretty. Yeah. Anyway, I, I so where yes. if we look at the groupings, so um, I was like I said, I I kept them in the above average but not exceptional because of the lack of 
continuing services projects that are, should be listed in that section. Or, or it should come in. It should come in. That was an extension loan. But because of their formatting, but those projects were over our continuing services. Well, we can't tell for sure because they don't tell us. I had a 30 and I was on the lower or the mid end of the superior category. So the superior goes 27 to 35. Yeah, so I was at a 30. It would... 27. Granted, 20. I was at an 18, you were at a 25. Mm -hmm. I would be consistent across the board. Yeah. Um, drop maybe 24. I mean, you got a 24. You guys okay with London and Ryan or Rodding? John, you're okay with substantial. Substantially at my end. I mean, what about the high end of the adequate success, which would be a 26 then? I would be fine with the 26. Yeah, I'm at 27, so I'd be fine with it. Yeah, so I'll, I'll have to take the letter. Yeah. Okay. 26. That's substantial for you to be able to do that. Yeah, but saying? it's specifically going high. Yeah. It's substantially up for me. Yeah. yeah. So 26? 26 it is. The next one's super easy. We all said eight, so. Let's say, let's go with eight. Let's go with eight. <laughs> um, <laughs> the next one is three eights and two sevens. So let's go with eight. eight. You guys good with eight? Yes. Okay, so that takes care of Mead and Hunt. So we're at 453. I okay. think we can knock out one and more. Can. I think because I think this is a swing and a mess too. I think we can knock out one more and I think we can do it pretty quick. Oh, sorry. Okay, so Ryan. Uh, zero. <coughs> zero. Okay. So, so I'll restart. A zero, a zero, a seven, and a seven. This yeah. is one where I didn't quite understand what they were doing. For and how it relates to what we're <laughs> I'm not going to argue with you, so I'm at a zero. I'm at a zero, and I'm at a four, and I'm at a four. Okay. Hold so, on, hold on. London, you're up. It's zero. Zero. One. Zero. Okay. PJ. Yes, so now we're having condo is in St. Pete. Um, a zero, yes. a zero, um, let's give it a one and a zero, and we're four. Okay, gosh, here I am the high score. Five. I got a five, <laughs> a five, a nine, a five. And for criteria five, a zero. So consensus scoring on criteria one. I'm good with going with a zero. Okay. Okay. Consensus scoring on criteria two. I am good with a zero. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why I gave him a nine. They broke out a budget and a schedule. Is that why you gave him a seven? Yes. Could you give him a seven? They do have a piece of bit of If I can go up, seems pretty generic, but I can more than oh. me. 
I'll agree to a five. Okay. A five? A five attack. Okay, five it is. And the last one, when you have a zero, a four, a zero, a seven, a five. Right. If you go with five again. Sure, that works. Okay, we are done for today. Four minutes ago. So that leaves eight for us to work our way through tomorrow morning. And then JC will be confirming scores with us. We'll be getting totals that include those three lines, correct? Those other three lines. I don't have them. The, the, the last three lines on your thing. Are you talking to the short ones? No, no, no. The, the oh, words yeah, that yeah. include like so the tomorrow, thingies and all of them. Tomorrow we'll go over the, um, we'll do the last eight correct. evaluations and then uh, we'll go over the uh, scores for each uh, criteria for each firm uh, tomorrow as well. And then um, but the scores that you're going to give us it, it in will, the end will include the MBE. Yeah, the, and yeah, the MBE, the EEOAA, the past performance, and volume of work. Right. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll do the ranking as well tomorrow. Okay. Okay, great. Yeah. So. Okay. All right, that concludes day one of RPS 2424655. Everyone have a wonderful day. We will see you tomorrow. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Part of their personality.